Hi, today I'm here with Swami Gurudeva or Guru Maharaj and uh, I want to ask him a few questions about uh, the Vaishnava diet. Uh, so, firstly, uh, we know that uh, in Bhagavad Gita 926 they talk about um, Krishna says, you know, if you offer to me with love and devotion any leaf, flower, fruit or water, I will accept it. But then I know that uh, dairy is an important part of Hindu diet. But nowadays dairy is coming from cows. I know that you protect the animals and you want to, uh, you know, help people get awareness about how we should uh, respect animal life. And uh, so nowadays cows, they are fed with different chemicals. They're getting hormones and they're getting uh, vaccines and uh, uh, different, you know, they, they're getting kept in a, in a very hostile environment. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're extracting dairy in a very inhumane way. Mm -hmm. So I, my question to you is, uh, what do you think about keeping in this this time of, of this this era this this Kali Yuga? Uh, should we still be consuming dairy in these conditions when we should respect the cows? There's quite a few opinions about this and uh, now you're asking me and I'm Without having planned it myself. I've become a dairy farmer because uh, one of my disciples got inheritance from his grandfather a big farm in Colombia with 40 cows and these cows they are safe yes. they are they will not be injected with anything they'll be kept very nicely and uh, we will make sure that they die also naturally in that land but at the same time it brings a lot of questions to me now will we keep reproducing them will we have new calves and like that what to do with the males males how to do this so the the whole thing has an answer actually Mahatma Gandhi he gave the answer he said real real cow protection can only work if the government is behind it mm -hmm. if they give certain poor areas for those old animals who are not producing and figuring out how much milk we need for the children and to, like that but nowadays the governments are not supporting that so real cow protection in the sense of as the Vedas have taught us or as it was natural before it doesn't exist anymore or it's very rare yes. I guess I'm one of the rare cases of there of course mm -hmm. most people and, get dairy from and that. yeah you yeah. because now this is just one point do we want to eliminate cows from the planet? No. That is the total vegan proposal. And that's also a difficult proposal because the cow dung is such a high powered, fantastic substance. It's used for the fertilization, it's used for medicine, it's used for building, it's used for burning fuel in places where you cannot cut trees for burning fuels. In, for example, in, in Bengal, you cannot use tractors because when they plant the rice, the tractor would just sink into the mud and would not run. So they have to uh, grow, make the fields with the oxen there. Still, I, I share your feelings. I'm also very, very upset. In Italy, I have another project. It's called the Mercy Farm, Jarikanda. We have five huge cows. In Hungary, we also had, before they left the world, they were saved from the slaughterhouse. So we're keeping them as pets. And they're lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I've seen so much things about cow protection. I know you want a five minute answer. I can't. This is a five hour answer at least. I will try to cut it short. But, so how to do about this? Uh, what to do with the oxen, if you have any? Uh, what to do with all this produce? Actually, I mean, the matter of effect of cow's milk in the market today. It's not only produced under sad conditions, it's also adulterated. It's not good milk. It's, it, it mm -hmm. doesn't have the qualities which the glorious milk has when it is from a loving environment where the cow and the bull are like father and mother. 
part mm -hmm. of the family. Mm -hmm. So, so that milk and the other milk products, all the things which uh, we derive from it, it's all adulterated. Yes. And that brings about many, many difficult questions for Vaishnava too. Now, I must say something about my spiritual master. My spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada, started preaching in the world. There was no gore or raw sugar. You can only get white sugar. There was no uh, cow protection. There was no awareness of natural good eating, like today is becoming more and more popular. And he emphasized prasadam, offer your food to God and do good work for God. And he didn't go into the thousand details of how the sugar was produced and this and that. He didn't touch those subjects. Nowadays, we have different choices. And the vegan, uh, the vegan diets, the vegan science, so to say, is uh, developing and developing. And until recently, vegans were accused of keeping some elements out of their body which are actually necessary for a healthy life. But good news for the vegans. Just recently, a medical study came uh, in Germany and they said, factually, vegans do not have all the uh, vitamins in their body for their defense system. But then, after deeper research, they found out what they don't have is what they don't need because they don't eat in dairy <laughs> and other things. So, in other words, they're not really deprived of something for health. So a vegetarian diet and a vegan diet, well balanced of course, is definitely healthy. Mm -hmm. And definitely there's nothing one should really have to worry about if one does it right. Mm -hmm. So that from that point. So from the other point of view, what is the cow situation? There are some of my god brothers and my tutors, we, we have discussed the subject, you may imagine, many times. They have said that these cows in the cow farms today, they have a karma too. Most likely they were butchers in their last life. Now they're going through the same thing, an eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth, being in such a factory farm, horrible, horrible. Like so many people, humans also go through horrible karma, so cows also go through horrible karma. Now, if we just tell we reject all this 100%, then this is one attitude to take. Another one, some of my friends have taken the attitude, if we take some of the dairy, we offer it to Krishna. This gives at least one little light beam into the dark light life of this factory farm animals. And that of course can only be understood and sustained by somebody who has a very strong faith in the karma science mm -hmm. and who actually feels, yes, this poor animal is benefited if some of it 